Okay, everybody, I'm really excited about this tutorial right now. We're gonna make a galaxy cactus. So what you're gonna do is make your initial outline with the green watercolored colored pencil. You can make whatever shape you want right here. I'm gonna stick with this shape. Next, you're gonna take the light blue and place it in a more diagonal shape. I like to take some white and stick it in there just as an undertone of stars, but you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Then you're gonna take your dark blue and add it to the top of the light blue. As you can see here, I overlap it just a little bit because I want the blending to be perfect. I'm gonna add some white on this bottom part just to add a little bit more depth to the galaxy. But continue to add that dark blue and work your way around the cactus doing so. You'll see that white pop out just a little bit. Once you add the water, it won't be such a intense circle. Um, it will all essentially just start to blend together. The next color I'm gonna take is red and you're gonna see I'm gonna overlap the red and the blue just a little bit. That way we get the purplish color that we'd like in the galaxy. Um, I also make sure I don't press too hard while I'm blending. That way it keeps it more of a natural feel. Next, I'll take the black and I'll go through lightly and add some black because black adds depth in a galaxy. So let's add that depth. I'm gonna go back in with my light blue and fill in the spots that need a little bit more color. Light blue is definitely what I'm going for in this galaxy is more of a light blue color. Now, then I'm gonna take my size six Princeton brush. And I'm gonna bring it in and blend all these colors together. The thing about galaxies is it's always better when you layer. So you're gonna to want to dry your watercolor. And the way I did that was with this heat gun, but you can just let it air dry if you don't have a heat gun. But then go back in and take your darker colors and start making more layers to create that depth in your drawing slash painting. Let that painting dry and take the black ink and your small size one paintbrush and come in and outline the cactus with that ink. I would do this very slow and steady, that way you don't mess up. I really didn't want it to be perfect. I really love perfections in art. That way you know it's handmade. Anyways, I'll come in and completely outline the exterior of the cactus and then I'll come in and add the middle lines as well as the spikes from the cactus. And it's as easy as that. I can't wait to see yours.